Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emily. So I'm finally sitting back down making a video. I hope you guys didn't mind that I vlogged the um, last couple, but I just think it's really fun to take you guys along with me. I want you guys to kind of like get a feel of a day in my life or when I do something fun. I just want to share it with you guys. So I hope you didn't mind, but I'm back here today sitting down ready to film a video for you guys. But today's video is going to be a little different too. Today, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some ways that I helped my grades improve. Um, the past four semesters in college, I've gotten straight A's and I've noticed that I've been doing things differently than I did in high school and I feel like that is really what's helped me get better grades. Um, if you guys missed my story times, I am plan to make another one this week, so watch out for that. Maybe it'll be up Wednesday or Thursday. But until then, I'm going to tell you guys a few tips that have really helped me become a better student in general. And I hope you guys take away something from this. I hope this helps you improve your grades. And if you want to hear my tips and tricks, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my number one tip is to as soon as you get into your semester whether it's high school college even grade school if you're starting the year the first thing you want to do is start it off strong you don't want to wait until week four and you realize oh i'm getting c's and d's i need to step it up i need to start getting a's if you just like straight out start working really hard complete all your assignments on time really 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 I cannot stress this enough give it your best shot then you will come out of the gate hot you will not be stressed out mid-semester like I have to get my grades up I have to get them up because they'll already be good as long as you're trying your best and you are really putting in the effort your grades will show that and another thing to go along with that, if you're not understanding a lesson, if something isn't making any sense and you've read the book and you've listened to the lecture or the teacher and you really just don't understand, don't be afraid to go up and ask the teacher. I feel like that's a problem I had in high school. I didn't really want to go up and say that I was experiencing an issue. And even if you don't want to stay over like after class and talk to your teacher don't be afraid to raise your hand during class because i'm sure there's two or three other kids in the classroom that have the same question as you and you guys just aren't like voicing that you do have this question and so nobody's getting answered so just really take that into consideration the second and i would say this is probably my most important tip this is what i feel like really brought my grades together is having a planner so i brought mine for this video this is what mine looks like it's just like this cute little pink marble pr uh, planner so what i do with my planner is as soon as i get my syllabi i go ahead and i write down every assignment anything that the teacher has in bold or any due dates um which though usually the professors or teachers will put them i know in college i'm not really sure i can't really remember i've been on a high school for like three years it seems longer than that but um professors will put in the back of the syllabi all the assignments that you're going to have so i just went ahead and i wrote them down i brought the receipt so you guys don't think i'm just saying this stuff and i don't actually do it I go ahead and I write down everything that the teachers tell me are coming up, anything for extra credit, any opportunities to do anything. I will write them down in my planner. And this way, when it comes like time, your planner will become your best friend because you will always have your assignments right there. You don't have to worry about flipping through all the syllabi and oh gosh like there's so many assignments due i forgot that these were all coming up and now i'm really stressed out with a planner you could go ahead and look at the next week or the week after that and say okay this is what i have to do and i am going to plan time for this which brings me to my third tip which is in fact planning for all your assignments and planning time for all of them now you don't want to procrastinate. So I realized when I go ahead and I do my assignments a day or two before they're due, then I'm not stressed and I don't feel like, what's the word? I, I don't feel like 
when you have a lot of stress on you, sometimes that can make you shut down and you don't want to complete the assignment. But if you go ahead and you get the assignment due done two or three days beforehand, then you feel very motivated. Like you, you really did your best. It's just a great feeling to have. You don't feel stressed out. You don't feel like shutting down. You have everything done and that'll just make you more motivated as a student. Also, if you have a job, I know how hard that is because I work 20 plus hours every week and finding time to balance 20 plus hours worth of work in five classes could be overwhelming. But I promise you, if you just spread it out, do assignments little by little and really work around your work schedule or your sporting schedule or um, any extracurricular activities you have, then you will get things done and they will be done on time, I promise you. No matter how hard or overwhelming it seems at the time, they will be done. So tip number four I have for you guys is I'm not sure if this will help any grade schoolers. I'm sorry, this might not apply to you, but I know definitely in high school and college, um, when you take your electives, make sure that it's something you're passionate about. If you can choose even one elective, that's just gonna make your day a lot better. Choose wisely because then you're going to feel more motivated and you're more interested in this subject and this will be a class to get an easy A in. I'm not necessarily saying the class will be easy, but it's just kind of when things are more interesting to you, you're more, you feel more inclined to learn about them. So let's say you like art and your counselor tells you, okay, you have an elective, you could choose whatever elective you want, what do you want to do? You would choose art because you are very passionate about it. It's something that could even take stress away from your other classes. So my fifth and final tip is an important one and I know because I've struggled with this too and that tip is go to class. I know it's hard. I know, I know, I know. Especially in high school and grade school when you have to wake up at 8 a.m. and you have to get the motivation to get out of bed or you even... I, I lied, I think you have to get up at 7 a.m. I know that's hard because I've taken 8 a.m. classes in college and I'm like, how did I do that? But in grade school and high school, you really just need to find the motivation to get up and go because if you even fall a day or two behind, then it can really throw off your learning process because then now you're confused and now you don't want to learn about it because you're not like up to date with everybody else. It's stressful, I get it. and if you're sick or you have a valid excuse obviously you have to miss I, I'm not saying don't miss if you're sick because that would just that's just ridiculous but I'm telling you if you just have a day where you're kind of like mm, I don't really want to go I don't really have a reason it's not like a mental health day it's not like anything like that you just kind of don't want to go then really push yourself to go because think about how far behind you could fall from just missing one day and for college kids, I know sometimes attendance is not mandatory and that is a terrible thing because then you just want to skip all the classes and you're paying or your parents are paying for these classes and you're just going to skip them and you're just going to fall behind, you're not going to know what to do. I know a lot of times professors will assign something and if you're not there to get it, then you fail that assignment because they might not have attendance mandatory but they are watching who's coming and think about this if you are constantly showing up and you are constantly answering the teacher's questions or asking the teacher for help and it comes down to the end of the semester and you need a 90 to get an A and you have an 88 if you go up to that teacher nine times out of ten they will help you they will give you an extra credit assignment they will they will do whatever it takes to help you get that letter upgrade because they have seen that you have been trying. And I don't want to say all professors are like that, but if you don't wait until last minute, like, oh, the day before the semester ends, can you please help me? If you go up to them like two weeks in advance and say, you know, do you have any extra credit opportunities I could do? Can I write a paper? Anything for just those few extra points that I need to get rounded up. I will do and I'm sure that they will work with you if they've seen that you've been a good student all throughout the semester. So these are my tips and tricks on how to become a better student. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can take something away from this to even help your grades a little bit. That would be such a success for me. And like I said, I'm going to have a story time coming out later this week, so watch for it. 
don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and until next time i'll see you guys